Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to do something that <laughs> I'm hoping will work and if it doesn't it's okay. We'll see. I've had an idea um, for a t-shirt design and so what I'm going to be doing in this video is actually taking some still shots of the paw and um, so this is going to be interesting so what colors am I using for this I am using Vermilion orange from Reeves gold this is still my reno art still using that up I'm using Thalo Blue from Reeves and I'm using Viridian Hue also from Reeves and then I've got some Reeves Titanium White mixed up and I've got my Mars Black mixed up. So all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and uh, what I've done to prepare my record this is just the standard record well it's not standard actually this is a uh, a long pro play micro groove I hadn't come across these before non-breakable I really like that for a piece of art <laughs> um, I've covered the back with Duracell or cover seal or whatever you want to call that stuff that you put on your tech, your school books um, and on the front I have painted some Mars Black about a week ago it's had a good time to set and um, just to, to seal the color in so I can paint whatever color I like on here and not have to worry about the color of the label popping out and through which has happened before so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Mars Black around the canvas. Um, uh, canvas, record. <laughs> and just um, make it so it's definitely going to get covered is really my target. With this I want the whole record covered. Because I'm pretty sure this is enough paint. And if it's not, I don't want it to be an afterthought adding paint like I tend to do in the past. And those of you that have followed my channel have seen me do it time and time again. And I'm like, nope, not happening anymore. That's my choice, my demand today. So... We're finished with that. So the next thing that we need to do is pop that in there so you can see it. And let's just zoom you in a little bit. So as with most <laughs> flip cups, I'm going to start with some white. I don't have a lot of white, but it's going to be enough. So my next one is... actually going to be gold I always find gold sinks oh what's that I must have dripped some paint into here at some stage oh look there you go so there we go we have some random paint in there um I always find that my gold sinks and I don't like that it sinks. I like to see my gold. So I thought, well, if I put it down with the white, the white will sink through it. Hopefully. That's my target. Let's put some more gold in. Now, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, as I said, and what 
I've done is I've added some dimethicone. Now dimethicone is a type of silicon and the type that I use is Durex Play Perfect Glide. And that comes in a black and pink pot, which is, so it's not the green pot one. Please be aware of that. Let's see if we've got any more white in there. No, not really. Okay. I need to mix some more white. Okay, so you guys are going to be up there just like normal. What I've got over here is a... Can I show see it? There we go. There we go. Another camera. Dun, 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 dun. That's the old one that I put in water. Still works. How cool is that? Uh, I'm sorry about this. And over on that direction, I have a canvas set up as kind of like a white background. And I'm I'm gonna pour this. But I'm going to pour it from a height. And uh, hopefully this works. And at the end I will be able to show you why I'm doing this. Um, so. Let's just check we are still on burst mode. Yes. Check we can see what I'm doing. Yes. Focus. On me, yes. You guys can see what I'm doing. Yes. Yay. Here we go. All right. Now, you're all going... You poured from really, really high up. I know. And hopefully it comes out looking amazing. So, let's... It's got some cool stuff going on there. There's definitely cells happening, which I'm happy about. Where's my... But there's also a lot of air bubbles from pouring that high up. So let's get rid of as many of those as we can to start with. And that gold is definitely glistening beautifully in there. That excites me. Yum. I like the viridian hue in those bits there. That's cool. Now the orange has mixed quite a bit with the blue and darkened quite considerably. But that's okay as well. And I'm just allowing it to run off the sides so the whole record gets covered. I don't really want any big blobs of Mars Black sitting in there, like this one here. I want that all to run off the side. And what that will allow 
to be just a beautiful blended mass of color now it's super super dark even now and when you mix your colors with Floetrol they become well, even before you know even before you mix it with Floetrol acrylic paints always dry darker than what they look like in the tube so what I'm aware of with this is it's gonna dry quite dark because there was a lot of dark green and dark blue in there um, and there's also quite a bit of gold so I'm hoping that dark stuff is going to sparkle with goldness <laughs> yeah there's still air bubbles in here Now what I've found with um, with the really obstinate air bubbles, <laughs> the ones that just don't want to pop, um, if you do that quick, it, it creates a bit of a gush of wind, gush of movement, and um, tends to create it popping with more ease okay that's cool I like that it's it's almost ethereal is that the right word <laughs> I can see a dolphin nose coming up out of the water there it's upside down to you guys I bill and then it goes back down into the water let's see maybe <laughs> it's always looking through water darkness up to light oh there's so much in this it's so cool i'm so hoping it doesn't dry so dark it can't be seen and i like it a lot um so, how does it get any better than this? Let me get you down and show you. Yummy, 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 yum. All right. So, there's a lot of stuff going on in this dark area. Um, it's very cool even where it's almost black look at that you can just see cells happening sorry about my reflection of my hands and phone and stuff the way the colors have done it like a stripiness across that cell there that's so cool it's awesome some cute little cells down there that came out in that last torching just giving it some depth and yumminess how's it getting any better than this so there you go guys got a pile of paint <laughs> poured from up high so that was that was a dirty pour poured from up high and look what we created yummy 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 all right i am going to let this one dry and i will come back to you really really soon bye bye all right
I really, really like this. It's dark, but it, then it's got that really brightness. It really reminds me of when you see videos and stuff of looking up through when people go caving um, and they're coming up from the depths of the cave through the water and there's the light coming in at the top. I love it. I do, I do, I do. Anyway, let's brighten it up a bit and show you some of the detail in here. It's just so cool. I like it. I especially like how it comes out to these bright blues and turquoises and the viridian hue. And look at those. They just, they look like they're air bubbles below the surface. It's so cool. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. And yes, I have managed to do what I was trying to do with the, um, the other camera. So here is a shot of some cool new products that I've just created. Um, keep calm and pour paint. How does it get any better than that? <laughs> So, um, yeah, Keep Calm and Pour Paint is now available on Redbubble. Um, I'm also going to have both of those images available for you to purchase if you'd like to on my website so that you can then use them elsewhere. I'm totally happy for that. Um, and yeah, just two bucks and you can have the the digital of it to do what with, with it what you will um so check out the link below uh there'll be a link in the description and also showing here on the video um and yeah go have a look go have a play uh a lot of the ones that um on red bubble you can change the color of the t-shirt or the pillow or the whatever so have a play with that see if there's anything that you'd love to have come live in your home um, I know those coffee mugs and um, the travel mugs are definitely going to be coming to live in my home as well as probably some t-shirts so uh, if you want to have those two then you can buy them online there and uh, yay how much fun can we all have keeping calm and pouring paint <laughs> uh, I adore you all I hope you're having fun with whatever you're choosing and um, if you're not how can you add fun to what you be and do and how much more ease and joy will you have in your life if you add fun to everything you do so come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group if you haven't already. And there's still time. We're only two-thirds of the way through the month. Not even that. So there's still time to do the traveling ring pour in your most and least favorite colors. Um, so find that on the events of the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook page. And... What else is possible? I adore you. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.